Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to Joy and Food Kitchen where we just enjoy food. So let's enjoy some delicious coconut curry snapper fish. I'm starting off with fish that has already been prepped. I have washed them with lime and I trimmed off all the fins and all of that as well as removed any extra scales. I've squared them which are the slits that you see on the side so that the seasoning can penetrate a lot more. I'm using red snapper which is my favorite but you can substitute for any fish that you like. I'm seasoning my fish with a blend of all-purpose seasoning, salt, black pepper and curry powder and feel free to use whatever seasoning that you like. The full list of ingredients will be in the recipe that will be linked in the description box below. When seasoning our fish, we want to make sure that we season on the inside as well, right? You want to get those flavors throughout. Once we're done seasoning, we're going to set our fish aside to marinate for about 10 minutes while we work on the sauce. I'm just going to add a little bit of oil to my pot. Olive oil is what I'm using but of course any oil that you have will do. Once that heats up a little bit, I'm going to burn some curry. Which simply means sauteing the curry in a little bit of oil in order to release the flavor. We're not literally burning it. I'm going to saute the curry on low heat for 30 seconds and then I'm going to add my fresh seasonings which consist of onion, garlic, scallion, crushed pimento and scotch bonnet pepper and allow them to saute for another 15 to 20 seconds. The scotch bonnet pepper is optional, just leave it out if you can't take the heat or you can just add it whole. Next, I'm going to add my coconut milk. I made the coconut milk using a half a pack of milk powder that I had left and I added a teaspoon of cornstarch to it and one cup of lukewarm water. This is coconut milk powder so it's not going to thicken up on its own which is why I added the cornstarch. If you're using the one in the can then you don't need to add anything to thicken it. This is pretty much an end of week recipe so I'm just basically using whatever I have available. I had a little bit of homemade coconut milk left. So I'm just going to throw that in as well. So in total I added about a cup and a half of coconut milk but using one can is fine for this recipe. Next I'm going to add some fresh thyme and then cover and let that simmer for about 3-5 to five minutes so that our sauce can thicken up and so that the flavors can come together. Once the sauce is ready as you can see it's nice and rich and thick. We're going to add in our fish and the remaining flavors from the bowl. For vegetables, I'm just going to add some carrots and sweet peppers which is what I had available but you can also add whatever vegetables that you like. I'm adding in the carrots first because they are a little bit more dense which means that they take a little bit more time to cook and I'm going to add the sweet peppers later. Reason being, I don't want my vegetables to be overcooked. I like when they have a little bit of crunch to them, personal preference. I'm going to cover and allow that to cook for about 2 minutes. After that, I'm going to flip the fish and this part is optional. Careful not to break them when you're flipping them. I like to flip them because it makes them cook a little bit more faster and more evenly. At this point, I'm going to add the bell peppers in as well and allow them to finish cooking. And after 10 to 15 minutes, we have our delicious coconut curry snapper fish and this was so good the sauce was so creamy and delicious i served mine up with some white rice and a little bit of pear on the side check out this stuffed oven grilled fish as well as this brown stew fish recipe i know you guys will love these recipes as well don't forget to like share and subscribe follow me on all my other social media links are in the description as well as the recipe thanks for watching and until next time live life to the fullest and just enjoy food.